This video is brought to you by Uppercase Designs and their new Nimble Shell for AirTag. So if you've ever lost your keys, you know just how inconvenient that can be. And an AirTag is a great way to make sure that never happens again. However, they do have one fatal flaw. They have no way of attaching themselves to a set of keys. So do yourself a favor and pick up a Nimble Shell from Uppercase. It comes in a bunch of great colors to suit your style. It's made out of premium silicon and TPU film to protect your AirTag from scratches with a super classy rib design and comes with a carabiner clip as well as a regular key ring for easy attachment to your keys or backpack. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, use that link in the description below to pick one up. What is going on guys, Jesse here. So if you guys didn't know, I'm a huge fan of all things desk organization and design, because I just feel like having a nice place to just sit down and do your work makes a big difference in keeping yourself productive and motivated while you're there. And when we seem to be spending more and more time at our desks at home, it only makes sense to make that space as good as possible. So here are my top five desk accessories for you to make your setup awesome. So starting off this list, we've got one of my absolute favorite desk accessories ever, an LED light bar. So this is just a lamp that sits on top of your monitor and lights up the surface of your desk. The one that I have here is the Screen Bar Plus from BenQ. It has a really decent amount of output, has adjustable color temperature, is USB powered, and has this control knob that lets you adjust everything. I prefer this style of light over regular table lamps because it doesn't take up any extra desk space, it just sits up on top of the monitor and I think it blends in quite nicely. I almost even forget that it's there a lot of the time. Now you may be worried that the light will bleed onto the monitor though and cause a lot of glare, but the light beam is actually asymmetrical and barely any light actually makes it onto the screen. When you're using it, you really don't notice it at all. And I just really love having this because one, it lights up the surface of the desk really well, so if you need to look at physical documents at night, or if your keyboard doesn't have backlighting, you don't have to strain your eyes as much to see them. It's also really great because it kind of evens out the lighting situation in front of you when you're at your desk. Normally, your monitor is far brighter than everything else around it, and that difference in brightness isn't the best for your eyes. And this just kind of helps with closing that gap a bit, and it really does make a pretty big difference. Alright, next up is a good wireless charging pad. So instead of having a cable just kind of dangling around doing nothing, you can have a pad here that actually looks like it has a place to go. The one that I have here is the Nomad Base Station Pro, and this one is pretty cool in particular because it's actually a free position wireless charger, meaning that you can set your phone or whatever device you're using anywhere on here and it'll charge. That way you don't have to worry about getting your device in the right exact position. Because I feel like we've all had this happen before where you leave something on the wireless charging pad thinking it was charging, but then to come back and find out that it wasn't charging the entire time. And with this, you don't have to worry about that anymore, because as long as it's on the pad, your device will be charging. It can do up to 7.5 watts with up to 3 devices at a time, which isn't the fastest, but I usually just throw my stuff on there before I go to bed anyways, so it's all good. The materials are also super premium, this whole surface is made out of genuine leather, and the rest of the body is made out of solid metal. This thing is seriously solid, and you can really feel the quality that went into making this thing. And on top of that, it just looks really nice and well designed, and should be able to fit into most desk setups pretty easily. But yeah, definitely recommend this wireless charger to anybody who's trying to clean up the cables on their desk and up their setup game. Now moving on to number 3, the desk pad. This is in my opinion one of the most underrated desk accessories out there. I mean it's just a mat that goes under your keyboard and mouse, but it's also so much more than that. The one that I have here is from Grovemade, it's enormous and made out of merino wool felt, which feels great and is nice and soft. They come in a bunch of different sizes, materials, and colors, so make sure you check out their website to find the one that fits your setup the best. Also visually, it's just really nice because it kind of creates structure and makes everything that's on here look like it actually has a place to go. Without it, everything would just kind of be hanging out in space and it's just kind of one of those things that you don't really necessarily notice when it's there, but it just kind of ties everything together. So yeah, very underrated desk accessory and I feel like it's just kind of the foundation of a dope desk setup. And it's really changed the way that I view desk setups in general. 
And number four on the list is this tech organizer from OrbitKey. So this thing is great for all the little knickknacks that you may have lying around your desk that you don't really know where to put. It has a bunch of adjustable dividers that you can place anywhere to fit your needs, and it also has a couple of pockets and a lid to help you organize stuff further. On top, it's covered in leather and has a wireless charger on one side and a valet tray on the other. And one of my favorite things about this is the hinge. So if you just lift it straight up, then it'll just come off like a regular lid. But if you open it up like a book, then it stays on there. Super simple, but super cool. And this is great too because it can just kind of serve as a travel tech organizer as well. So if you have a couple of things like cables and SSDs that you need to bring with you to work on a regular basis, you don't need to track down each of those things individually. You can just put all of them in here and then grab this one thing when you need to go. And next up is a good mechanical keyboard. The one that I have here is the iQunix F96 with the cat keycaps. So first of all, if you haven't tried out a mechanical keyboard yet, what are you doing? But you should really consider checking one out because it just totally changes the typing experience. Like seriously, when I got my first mechanical keyboard, I was in high school and I was legitimately excited and just waiting for my teachers to assign me papers to write because I was just really excited to use the keyboard more. But this one, the F96, is probably the favorite one that I've ever used. So first off, it's a 96% layout, which means that it still has the number pad, but it's more compact than a full size and it eliminates all the gaps in between the key clusters. I really Really like the look and it's got a frame that's made out of thick aluminum pieces so it really has some weight to it. It works wired or wireless on Mac or PC. Mine has cherry red switches but you can get it in a bunch of other switch options as well and combined with the cat keycaps I think it provides a great typing experience. Now will this match a proper custom built keyboard? Probably not. But I think it's a step above something that you would get from a gaming company and a great in-between for people who are looking to dive a little bit deeper into the enthusiast market, but just doesn't really want to build their own. So yeah, highly recommend. Anyways, those are my top 5 favorite desk accessories to up your setup game. And hopefully you found something that you'll be able to implement into your own setup and found some inspiration there. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Remember to smash that like button. And if you enjoy content like this, think about subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.